Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Micah. I'm Jansen. And we're the Beard Buddies. So today we want to talk about our favorite product. No, no, it's our least favorite. This is, <laughs> this, this is, is, yeah, this has been our most least favorite product. And I, <laughs> oh, yeah. and I wanted to really give these guys a chance. Um, they're kind of a local group. It's called the Mini Mustache, located here in, in Utah. And they've got a couple of products um, to try out. This is a beard wash and then a beard conditioner. Okay, now first, first thing to mention, if yes. you're gonna have, I don't know about you, where do you wash your beard, Micah? Um, the shower. Really? Like, Why do you wash it in there? Because I'm a don't man. Don't you want to wash it at a sink or mm, something? No, that would or be... Or that like natural waterfall The only time I wash it at a sink... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> natural... You're like a waterfall. Oh, like... Right. I'm like the salmon. chocolate fountain. You're pulling salmon out of your beard. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just cook. I do it in the chocolate fountain. Yeah, there you and go. Then I, I can eat it. It's one of those. It makes sense to wash your beard in the shower. Yeah. The only time, the only time I do wash my beard is like at night. Maybe I'll do it in the sink just to kind of open up the pores and then put a, a yeah. beard balm in it yeah. to like condition it overnight. But that's about it. And it's never fun. No. Never it's, fun. It's not, never it's something not, I enjoy. It's not. An I've never been experience. somebody that's like washed my face at night. If your products are going to be used in the shower, make sure that the labeling will actually stand up. Well, we, we'll These do the labels table. have been turned to crap. Why? Yes. <laughs> Just because they were in contact with water. They were a paper label, which again, this has nothing to do with the product, but at the end of the day, those companies are products that care about their product and how they're gonna last. Um, they go the extra mile and they make sure that they stand up through the test of time. Okay. Case in point, Bluebeards. I'm just gonna throw them out. Yep. They, I use all their products in the shower, basically, yeah. except for the like the conditioner one. That's yep. the only yep. one. Yep. Had no issues. The the label never peels, and I've been using it for like six, eight months in the shower. Okay. So that being said, I mean, this kind of could be like, oh, guys, you're just talking about the the container it comes in. Okay. Point taken. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about the actual product. Again, we don't want to put any brand down or like make it like we really gave these a shot both of us like yes. it actually got to the point for me so let's let me start with the the, the shampoo yeah. so the stimulating beard wash um i was told that there wasn't going to be a lot of like weird extreme ingredients in the stuff um at the shop there and they're and not that they're extreme but it just looks like there's some like uh some detergents in this because it isn't uh, as much of a natural product um, but I just found that the menthol or whatever like chilling agent they had, it looked like whoever was like pouring the um, in the batch that day, like 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 uh, like oh we're gonna make a batch of beard shampoo and conditioner. Okay, how much menthol? Like he was like uh, like one. Did I put one? One. <laughs> Wait, I don't. One. Oh, see, I imagined it like this. He was like. Oh, he had the whole bottle in his hand, right? And he's just like, oh, it's so bored. Oh, my word, just get this over yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. Right? Something Quick. like, and we want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt there at <laughs> Mini Mustachery. So, um, sorry, guys. Please, we're if there's anything part. up with the batch that we got, please reach out to us. We'd love to give it another shot. Of course. And we're always willing to give another uh, a product another shot. But what we found is this, it's called, now it is called Stimulating Beard Wash. Okay, the first time I used this, I was like, okay, the shampoo. Oh, good morning. <laughs> really felt really so, felt it stimulating. Yes. And it was like, I'm gonna put mint extract in my beard. Is yeah, what it felt yeah. Like. I was like, whoa. Really, and it like chills your face. Like that's cool. I like, went to the peppermint back factory. in the day, and I will admit, at one point in my life, I did have to shave for either jobs or school or whatever. Yeah. But it's, ah, it reminded me of like some of those menthol mentholated um, shaving oils oh, or yeah. stuff that you'd use, and those are great. Like when you're shaving awesome because it like really helps kind of numb your face or whatever now with my beard it was kind of a weird feeling because it was like what's going on here okay and that was a shampoo and it was your beard yelling at you don't shave me yeah don't, don't shave, shave me, me. it's kind of like a little p ptsd from my beard it was like oh, 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 oh what are you doing oh, oh, you're not gonna me. get rid of me don't you dare don't you dare don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. <laughs> okay so you'd wash the shampoo out and then you would hit it with the conditioner and the conditioner would just like it was even worse than this yes it was like one two punch you know it was just like it was like this one was already kind of like oh bread basket bread basket this one's like bread basket, bread basket groin 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 and then you feel i'm not like, sure why that's a groin but no i don't know why either but it felt like your face was on fire and again mint, on fire like, mint this... extract and then double mint extract it's just oh, like oh my gosh i don't want to put mint extract on my face yes 
So guys, give it another shot. Um, it's like you said, we want to get, like you can tell we've used quite a bit of it. But well, it, well, it got to the point where I was like, I can't use these anymore. <laughs> just use them up. I never want to see them again. <laughs> so I tried it the first day and I was just like, oh my word, I don't ever want to do that again. But I'm like, I have to give a product at least a couple tries. Like I can't just like- And I did. First try, there like, was maybe so it was times. terrible. I tried it four times and by the fourth time I'm like, I'm never doing this again. This is terrible. Yeah. Like it just burns and it's just like, it smells funky and then you put your beard <laughs> oil in or whatever yeah. and then that just has that smell to it and you're just like, oh. Yeah. It's like basically you, okay, this is how I imagine it. Yeah. You take all the candy canes in Santa's workshop, <laughs> melt them down and put them in a bottle this yeah. size. Yeah. Like, like we're talking mint. every candy cane every in Santa's candy. village. Yeah. Which if you're not aware, like that's, that's, a, that's a lot. That's like 32 million. 0.5. Thanks for watching this beer product review of the mini mustachery um, shampoo and conditioner. We're gonna do a follow up with their beard oil, like we said. Yeah. Um, remember to comment, subscribe. Um, let us know what products you'd like us to try. We're always looking for new and upcoming beard products to review. And, and if you wanna see a list of the products we have, Look in the description below. Yeah, there's we've, links to all of yeah, them. Yeah, there's and links all that. where to purchase them directly <coughs> and get them in your collection and, and make your beards look fantastic. So, uh, and again, I'm Jansen. I'm Micah. And we're the Beard Buddies. Remember, save, save the, the beard. beard. You keep pointing. I always.